Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about what is a depository receipt and a small gist of what are the various types of depository receipt. So let us begin with first a small introduction on what is depository receipt. Now let us see what does this term depository receipt mean. Now, depository receipt, which is also known as a DR, is a negotiable certificate of shares in foreign corporate institutions held by an investor stating his ownership from a country outside the market in which the shares are traded. In simple term, it means that depository receipt is a negotiable certificate okay which is held by a foreign or an overseas investor of a country which is outside the country of the issued share the shares issued by the company are held by depository banks which is international banks which issues the receipt to the investors and distributes corporate benefit so this entire work is done by the depository bank okay which is nothing but an international bank so it issues depository receipts to the investors thus a depository receipt can be described as derivative that gives the holder specific number of underlying shares of a foreign company now let us understand you know the depository receipt in a better way okay now we usually have a question ki what is depository receipt okay what is it mechanism behind the working of depository receipt how does it work okay how is it different from shares and how is it same from shares okay so let us take an example let's say there's an indian company now if an indian company wants to raise fund it can basically do that by issuing of shares that is public issue of shares now what if the company has already gone through ipo it has publicly issued a shares and it has collected the amount so we can say that the indian company is already a listed company in india it has already gone for public offer and still it requires now fund to be raised okay so the indian company okay is wanting more funds so it wants to raise fund now it has decided that the public offer is already over so you have got money from the indian company or from the india itself you got money from all the investors it still requires more fund so it has decided now you know to raise fund from overseas okay so in other term we can say that is want to raise fund let's say if we we'll take a example of america so let's say indian company it wants to raise fund it wants funds from overseas so it's raising fund basically from america we have taken that kind of an example okay now okay so india indian company has opted for an overseas fund raising from america now in america there came an investor who agreed to invest in indian company okay and buy shares of indian company now now the question arises is can the investor directly invest into indian company or can the investor directly buy shares of indian company now if we take the scenario of the indian corporate market many companies like hdfc infosys etc okay have raised funds through you know depository receipt from united states of america so now we need to learn ki how these indian company sold their indian shares to overseas people okay by learning that procedure we'll be able to explain what is a depository receipt so now let's take now let's continue with the example that the indian company okay it wants to sell its shares to a person overseas now for doing that okay company has to contact another company which is known as a domestic custodian 
now domestic custodian is similar to a company okay okay the main you know duty of a domestic custodian is that it will hold shares of the indian company with it so now all the paperwork all the workings all the formalities okay of the issue of shares will be held by domestic custodian okay now the domestic custodian he has a counterparty in usa now the counterparty is nothing but let's say we can say like it has a collaborated company in usa <clears throat> the domestic custodian has a collaborated company in usa okay so now the domestic custodian will keep updating or will inform okay the collaborated or the counterparty company in usa and that counterparty company in usa is known as the overseas depository bank so now the indian company okay is want to uh, sell its shares to an overseas person so it will hire or it will give all its shares to the domestic custodian now the domestic custodian will hold all those shares and will update and inform the information about those shares to the overseas depository bank now depository bank is just like a normal bank in a normal bank okay it holds all the money depository bank basically holds all the shares in electronic form so as and when the indian company informs or gives the share or gives the shares to be held to the custodian the domestic custodian it will update and inform the overseas depository bank and hence the shares will be credited in the electronic form in the overseas depository bank now if any indian company wants to give shares so therefore we can say that if any indian company wants to give shares to a foreign company or a foreign investor okay then that company has to number 1 give his shares all his shares to the domestic custodian then the domestic custodian will update and inform the overseas depository bank who will credit all the you know the shares held and thereafter okay it will in inform and update the investor and now this investor is nothing but the foreign investor okay so the overseas depository bank let's say overseas depository bank of usa will inform the investor of usa about the credit of his shares now the overseas depository bank it first of all will update and inform about the credit of the shares what he has got on top of that it will give an acknowledgement okay it will give an acknowledgement okay to the foreign investors about the shares which are held by the overseas depository bank okay and along with that acknowledgement it will issue a receipt and that receipt is known as the depository receipt so depository receipt is just basic like a normal shares okay which are held by a foreign investor so in india if the shares are issued it is called as shares however if the shares are issued outside india it will be known as the depository receipt like the shares the depository receipts can be bought and sold in the foreign stock exchange okay so if they if the foreign investor wants to sell the share just like the normal shares how we trade off in our indian foreign exchange market uh, indian share market they can also you know trade off normally in their normal stock exchange market so this is the basic mechanism of depository receipt so in simple term if an indian company wants to raise fund from overseas okay it will first issue shares to a domestic custodian who will eventually update and inform you know the counterparty that is the overseas depository bank who will inform the investor keep them updated and issue them a receipt known as the depository receipt okay so that was depository receipt in a very simple term okay now the next thing that we need to learn is what are the various types of depository receipts now broadly speaking there are three types of depository receipts number 1 the global depository receipt second american depository receipt and third is the indian depository receipt 
they are also known as the gdr adr and idr global depository receipt is nothing but it's a depository receipt whereby the indian company we take an example of uh, the domestic as indian and foreign country as let's say any uh, let's say any country in the world let's say an example of usa itself so when an indian company wants to raise fund from outside country it is it will issue a receipt known as the global depository receipt adr is basically where the indian company raises fund only from united states of america and indian depository receipt is the vice versa here the foreign company wants to raise fund from india now in order to understand in detail what is global depository receipt or american depository receipt or indian depository receipt there are three different videos which have been made for the same reason so everyone see that you all view those videos also in order to understand all the three concept in detail thank you